What up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 5M server using Rocket Node's brand new game panel that they just released, version 2.0. I'm really excited to bring this video to you, and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is, of course, go to Rocket Node's website, rocketnode.net, and then we're going to click Game Hosting, 5M, and this is where you'll select the plan that you want to use. You know, the more RAM your server requires is based on the amount of resources and players you have active. For example, if I had like 20 to 30 people on a vMenu base, I'd go with something like, you know, Platinum or Ultimate. But anything above that, maybe 40, 50 players, Enterprise, anything above that, even Premier or God, I'd say, plan-wise. You know, if you're just testing scripts, you could go with a starter developer plan. But anyways, that's up to you. You could select your plan. Uh, for this, I'm just going to click Premium. I already have one. But I'll just show you guys how to check out so you guys can get your own. So for additional information, it's going to ask for a panel name. Just put anything. I'm Well, obviously, panel name. I'm just going to click Cyber Green. Uh, 5M Patreon requirement. Click I understand and continue. Oh, shoot. Those additional services, if you're new to 5M and you want, you know, their specialized 5M team to install five scripts for you that you pick they'll do that you just have to add that enterprise support you get a dedicated support advisor to help you with any script issues you concur but so once we do that continue oh i just purchased two i guess but whatever i'm not actually going to click checkout because i already have one but anyways uh it's going to ask you to create a new account you do that accept tos accept tos Choose a payment method and check out. And then once you do that, if you go to rocketnode.net and go to login and game panel, you'll be granted here and you're going to log in with the same info as your billing panel. Click login and there you go. And here you will see the server you purchased. So now we're going to click on it. And but before we start the server, we just have some prep we have to do so it runs properly. We're going to go to server configuration. 5M license, this is where we get our license key on keymaster.5m.net. I'm going to copy this link and go to it. Once it, This is a pretty slow website, this keymaster, so give me a minute. And my computer internet is just horrendous. But we're going to click register now. And this is how you properly make the license key. So where it says server IP, you're going to copy this first part not the port control c i'm here you're going to put a display name i'm going to put cyber green you're going to slap that ip in there for this i'm going to type vps and provider you could put rocket node if you put a pre-installed game server it doesn't work so you could just put vps go to generate once this does its thing it's going to give us a key, and then we could just slam it in there, and we could start our server pretty much. Uh, we're going to click copy. Paste that in. Make sure it's saved, so go to another tab and come back. And boom, it's saved. So, let me tell you a little more about the panel so you could properly use it. So, this server host name is what is supposed to appear on the server list but if you use the newer alpine versions all you have to do is go to file manager oh there's going to be a server.cfg let me just put the server back but yeah once this reinstalls you're going to see a server.cfg you just have to add a set project name variable so it displays the server name in the newer version of 5m so we're going to go here it might def yeah see it's perfect it's already in there so along with changing the server name, you just have to change the project name to whatever you want and the project description, which is after the project name. So that's pretty much it for that. Databases, if you run like an ESX server or anything, you could create a database and import any of your stuff into there. Uh, schedules, you could actually create a schedule so it restarts at a certain time every day or it does another action. Users, you can add an unlimited amount of sub-users onto your account so that, you know, if you have staff, admins, management, they could all utilize the panel at the same time as well, which is a large benefit of their panel. 
and there's built-in TX admin. So if you want to use TX admin, you go to settings, click enable, and then you'll see a TX admin button down here, which will bring you to the TX admin panel and you can set up TX admin. But now, since we have that key in, we can actually just start the server simply without TX admin and it will work. But I'll also show you what it looks like with TX admin. The reason it says couldn't start resource chat is when it's a new server, Yarn, look, Yarn has to fetch the packages. So that just takes a little bit, but it's not actually erroring. It's just simply, you know, building the Yarn configuration. So now I'll show you guys how to use TX admin. But before I do that, I want to show you a beautiful thing about Rocket Node's panel, which is the framework installer. Rocket Node has a QB Core vMenu or ESX pre-installer where you can literally one tap install the entire server and you're pretty much good to go for everything. So like, look, I'm going to left click install vMenu and, it, and it's practically installed. Okay, perfect. So now that the base is installed, you know, you'll see in file manager, all the resources for it. And when you boot the console, that framework would load. But for this video, since we're just doing a simple 5M server, we're going to actually just remove these files and reinstall. This is pretty much also how to reset your server. If you want a clean server, you delete everything in the file manager and then go to server settings and click reinstall. Once we do this, we're just going to start the server, make sure we can join, and that will be it. I mean, the beauty about using a host, especially, is you don't have to port forward and it runs through its own network, so you don't have any vulnerabilities within your own system, which is very, very good. So let this, let this load. So now we could just copy this IP. Oh, not Steam, but we could load 5M. And if my 5M loads, sorry for the, I'm running on a 45 inch monitor, so it looks all weird, but we could do connect space CIP or, you know, once you have it set up, you could just look on the server list, but for this tutorial, I'm just showing you guys basically how to do it. But yeah, if you set those project names, like I said earlier, uh, it will definitely be on the server list. So here we go. All righty. And we're in. That is your own 5M server, ladies and gents. So, yeah. I mean, if you added V menu or anything like that, you'd have the M menu. Any of your own scripts would appear. It's, you know, the development process is similar to localhost. It's just a smoother overall experience because you have this amazing panel customly built up to help you scale that and build your own community. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and thank you for watching. Bye.